Before I set foot in these lands, I had no inkling that the people of Eorzea contended with such mighty foes. Suffice it to say, their existence came as something of a shock, as did the idea that they could be defeated. This experience has served to remind me of the vastness of the world, and the boundless potential of man. Though I am but a refugee in this realm, I would fain be of use to you in your fight. Know that I am tutored in one of the foremost combat arts of the Far East. It may seem outlandish to the Eorzean eye, but should any of your people care to learn, I would be pleased to initiate them. And I will see to it that they are grateful. I have no doubt that your knowledge and skills will serve us well. Besides, your art is not so outlandish as you think. Would you not agree, Master Thancred? Not escapes your searching eye, Admiral. Few are privy to this information, but Limsa Lominsa is home to a certain secret fraternity. Its members are trained in a form of combat not unlike your own. By my judgment, it should not be beyond such individuals to adapt to the techniques I witnessed you employing with such admirable deftness. I am heartened to hear this. I too noted a kinship between your style and mine own. Though it seemed to me that you fought differently in the beginning. <laughs> Aye, I suppose I did. What can I say? I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> Though you may labor to believe it, Thancred was once something of a scoundrel who fraternized with the criminal class in these parts. You stole her! <laughs> you jest, of course. <laughs> but for a chance encounter with Alfino's grandsire, he might never have left Limsa Lominsa, or received an education in Charlian, or taken up his post in Uldar, which is where he trained in the blade, lest you wonder. <laughs> Nymphilia, please! <laughs> <laughs> it would seem there is more to you than meets the eye, Master Thancred. Lady Yugiri, I am told that you and yours came to Eorzea seeking permanent resettlement, and that many domains have since been engaged as frontier hands at Revenant's Toll. Moderna is many things. But a place of refuge it is not. Know that I would like nothing better than to furnish your people with a new home here on Lominson soil. Alas, racked by instability as we are, our nation is in no fit state to take you in. Yet I'll not have it said that we turned a blind eye to your suffering. Until such time as we can do more, I pledge to send provisions. We are in your debt, Admiral. I realize that it scarce qualifies as repayment. But if it please you, I shall set about sharing my martial knowledge with your people at once. You wished a word in private. better not to spoil the festive mood. History repeats itself, Admiral. As the kobolds did before them, the Sahagin resorted to summoning their god over a territorial feud. They acted in self-preservation. It may be that the Sahagin initiated this particular clash, but how it begins does not interest me so much as how it ends. I have not forgotten our conversation, Yashtola. I am aware that man bears part of the blame for the primal's existence. Nor am I ignorant of the Sahagin's reason for acting. They sought to secure a place to breed and multiply that their kind might survive. Self-preservation, as you say. But we have as much right to live and thrive as they. If our own survival is threatened, 
Are we to lay down our arms and welcome oblivion? Nay. And so you kill, that you might live. Yet if living is a right, then that right belongs to all peoples, be they men or beastmen. I'll not deny your reasoning, but when a storm gathers, it falls to me to see my people safely through it. That is my duty, and I shall do it. As must we all, Admiral. Stay the course, then, but know that it will lead to no good end. Man has ever put himself first and foremost. To justify his actions, he clads himself in the armor of righteousness though it be a fancy of his own making. In this, mayhap the Galians and we Domans are not so different. Eorzea has become as a raging sea. If we are to keep our heads above the waves, we cannot scruple to drown the man next to us. When hopes of coexistence founder, Strength must determine who has the greater right to live. <sighs> Some deep shit. <clears throat> we did it. Divide instead. Now to the lower decks. See an underworld? Mm. <clears throat> Should we? Yeah. I don't see why not. Inform me of an arrangement of keeping my letter to Lady Yugri. Oh, uh, to the south stands a gate leading to a pier for smaller fishing vessels. Look for an inconspicuous human human man there. I said here man like human man, <laughs> and present the letter to him. Blah, blah, do the shit. All right. Man, the admiral, the admiral, the guy sent. I was hoping I might catch a glimpse of Thanker too. Been a while since I saw his shitty eating grin, <laughs> shite eating grin, <laughs> oh, with all that dew eyed wenches. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> I mean, you might get to see him soon. I don't know. Must be far eastern that Merlewib Merle Merle sent. All right, Merlewib. Says wants to train us. Welcome to Limza, my lady. I am Yugiri of Doma. Tis an honor to make your acquaintance. I must confess. Confess. I'm always messing up. First, I learned of your organization. I had certain preconceptions as to the nature of your membership. It would seem that I was mistaken. You're not the first person to say that, lass. Limza is a city of pirates, to be sure, and pirates don't give two farts about keeping a spotless reputation. Might, as, might be as people and I keep to the shadow, shadows. 
We've got nothing to be ashamed of. Simply business. So you have developed fighting techniques suited for this purpose. I see. Know that you're practitioners of my art too, and, de and denizens of the shadow. Oh, they are des denizens of the shadow. Tis in strength, stealth and strength. I really can't talk today, apparently. What in the seven hells are we waiting for? If you'd come with us, you could eat. Yuguri of do what's it? You can get acquainted in more private surrounds. Heh, you didn't come out right, did it? That didn't come out right. Master Kor, I shall remain with these people for a time that I might study their ways. Though I am loath to be separated from my countrymen, I take solace in the knowledge that they are in the best of hands. All right, I got you. Money. <laughs> so, what happens now? To the maelstrom. Looks like the start of a new one. Looks like it. Very much looks like it. Shall we go into it? Mm, yep. All right. Much, mu much, and more has occurred since I beheld Eorzea from the galleon's deck. Suffice it to say, I did not envisage being invited to play a part in your noble struggle. Forgive me. I have kept you over long. Doubtless you have been pressing business of your own. Rest assured that I am no longer require an escort in this land. When next you meet Lady Minfilia, pray relay her my humblest thanks. Till we meet again, Warrior of Light. Back to the stones? Uh, wait, what? Oh, right, right, down there. We're going home. <sighs> oh man, <laughs> the higher the gear, the stronger it gets, huh? That's way more blunt than the last sword. Jesus. Going to the stones, and you're going to the stones. We're jumping over stones to get to the stones. Jumping over stones, jumping over stones, jumping over stones, jumping over stones. Oh no, right place. All right. <laughs> the sun caught me off. All right. Wait, am I? Am I? I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. The last one. Fuck. <laughs> the last one screwed me over. All 
All right. Here we are. Jesus. Got some long ass side quests, huh? Are they worth it? Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. All right. Reflecting upon the events which took place during our visit to Vilbrain. If you have a moment, I would share my conclusions with you. Please, bear with me. When the Sahagin Elder summoned Leviathan, he employed the power we have come to know as the Echo. Though I cannot well explain the how of it, it would seem he became immortal in so doing. When the Admiral subsequently slew him, his spirit emerged from his lifeless flesh, a consciousness shorn of physical form. Thus transfigured, he took up residence in the body of his minion with the ease of a man donning a favorite glove. Long have I known that the Echo allows one to pass through the walls of a man's soul, but never did I imagine that it could free us from our own flesh, nor less that our souls could then occupy the next corporeal vessel to take our fancy. It was of this that Elidibus spoke, an existence which knows neither cessation nor oblivion. And yet, though the Sahagin had mastered his gift and thereby become immortal, he was by no means invulnerable. As we both bore witness, he was ultimately absorbed into Leviathan. And the import of this observation? If the Asian's mode of existence is indeed the same, it can be inferred that they too are not invulnerable, that they can be destroyed. There exists a legend which tells of souls who are reborn upon the cusp of each umbral calamity, that they might stay the encroaching darkness. To most, it is but a fairy tale, yet recent events have given me cause to wonder. Could the legend in fact refer to the Echo? Much and more yet remains unknown. But I am confident that all will become clear in time. For the present, however, what matters is that the key to defeating the Asians may at last be within sight. With Uriange's aid, it is my hope that I shall fathom this matter ere long. Oh, I was just about to send for you, my friend. Is Otamis? Grave tidings from the Charlian motherland, my lady. It doth concern our distant allies, the students of Valdesian. What of them? My lady, the Isle of Val, which for many years hath been the Order's home, is no more. <gasps> no more? Whatever do you mean? I relate only that which hath been conveyed unto me by our agents. An etheric wave of the highest magnitude was recorded in the region. Soon thereafter, twas observed that the isle had ceased to be. Tis postulated that a magic was evoked, like in power to Ultima. Twelve preserved. If there are no other matters, I move that today's meeting be adjourned. Is this going where I think it's going?
it is done, my lord. I... <clears throat> forgive my impertinence, my lord, but these orders... I am uncertain as to what end they serve. Revolution. I doing? Hold on. I thought it was something else. I don't think we're at the. I don't think we're at the. Uh, or maybe we're we're actually getting close to the. Uh, to the story. All right. Got to get rid of that. All right. That's cool. Actually, but first, there's something I need to finish up. Or set forth to next. Look at all this money I'm losing. Look at how broke I am. I gotta be all in for this one. You all probably know who I'm talking about. Come on. Which building was it again? This one? <laughs> yep, this one. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Alright, perchance you are curious about the duelist's declared target. If so, it so happens I have identified the weapon in question. The treaty blade is part of an Ishgardian noble's collection. Or was, I should say. No, it has not been stolen. It has not yet been stolen. It has been purchased by an Ulden collector, the wife of a wealthy merchant living in Vesper Bay. Suffice it to say, I would be remiss in my duties as a reporter were I to not investigate her. And should the duelist strike whilst I am present, well, I hope I needn't explain what golden opportunity that would be. Ingratiating myself to her may prove the great to be the greatest challenge, though. I am told she's quite a difficult woman to please. Fortunately, I am also told that she has a fondness of rare flowers, the sort to in the sort. Wait, what? The sort to to see in Camp Drybone cells. You can come along if you'd like. Sign me up. <laughs> you're, the, you're the same one from uh, that last quest, right? Oh, man. Sign me up. We're about to go back. <laughs> uh. It's been a while since I've seen... Uh, that one ridiculous guy in this game. <laughs> uh. 
faster, Magitek. Did I go the wrong way? Nope. I'm good. Alright, here we go. Here you are, miss. Thank you for your patronage. Was it for love or money that you killed him? Wait, who? What? Uh, it, it was you? Have you gone mad? That was an Almaja arrow in his back. I don't even know how you shoot a bow. Oh, I don't even know how to shoot a bow. All right. <laughs> Almaja don't shoot fleeing unarmed merchants. They capture and temper them. Not that you or your victim make for a convincing merchants. Why am I so slow at reading? If you're going to misrepresent yourself, put some, put some effort into it, man. Wear gloves, for God's sakes. At least don't wave your hand around my face. Her gentleman says, the, calusa, the calluses on your fingers betray you as a veteran archer. Doubtless, you used your skills to great, to great effect five years ago, as did your partner. So again, I ask, was it because you took him from you, your share, or your sister? Busted. You don't touch a man's kin. He knew that, and yet he... He... Damn. Damn. I thought he did it for the money. You do. He's all yours. Yes, of course. Thank you for your help, Inspector. At least he's competent. But when did investigating crimes become such a popular profession? Uh, you should know the guy who also does that. <laughs> it's not his job, you know. He just likes doing it. He belongs to one of Ishgard's high houses. Some say he's a baron. Not at all like that buffoon. He'll, that's who... Work. <laughs> Where is he? I try not to think about it, that man. What's the matter with Hildy? <laughs> Come on, what's the matter with him? You should get going, lady. Durildo will not take kindly to whittled, whittled flowers. Jesus. Oh. Oh, oh, well, all right, we're going back. All right. Nothing like the loss of Gil. Or potency. Or whatever the hell this is called. And the reaction times here are slower. God, beautiful. You're always going to catch me looking up at the stars with the Magitek's ass <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> All right, man. No, I'm going to leave that. <gasps> you expect me to do it for the leaves? Well, no, I just leave it alone. Eh? Eh? Yes. Again? As I told you, last 20 who came in before, if you have come looking for work, you're too late. Even if I were in need of additional security, I, I would not design to hire... I would not deign. Alright, I didn't... Yeah, it's... Even with glasses. <laughs> now remove yourself from my sight before I have you removed. You're welcome. Did you really think I could be so easily manipulated? Present the right gift, speak the magic works, and you would earn my respect. What is more, a flower's beauty is fleeting. Uh, I thought I read that wrong. All right, I read it right. Um, I value beauty which transcends the boundaries of time, everlasting, enduring, unchanging, like mine. Forgive us, Lady Durilda. We meant no respect. We were afraid that you would not heed our warnings otherwise. A notorious violent thief is plotting to steal the treaty blade. You fools. 
I shall come to claim the Collector's Blade, yes? I read the Mithril Eye. I know full well whom you speak, and it is none of your concern. I have a legion of guards at my disposal. Should he try, I shall have him seized, or worse. Even if you, and, he, and even if by some miracle he succeeded, he will not escape my wrath, for I have retained the services of a ser- Oh, no. Ah, but you may see for yourself, like every piece of my collection, he has been chosen to the utmost care. I look for the peerless inspector, interlopers, and despair. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Ships that pass in the night, a signal shown in the darkness. The lady cries out for the guardian and the gentleman must needs oblige. <laughs> With Nashi, I swear to you, here and now, I, Hildy, agent of the inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall neither sleep or slumber until this fiend the fiend who convey <laughs> who covets the treaty blade is brought to justice. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's not I don't I have a feeling she looks like that's the wrong guy. Good sir, what brings you here? Come in pursuit of the duelist as well? Or in pursuit of me? Yeah, not interested. As if I would spend a single skill on the insufferable incompetent Yeah, I figured. To be fair, you're not spending a single gill on me. He's the right one. <laughs> All right, this guy looks uh, cooler, I guess. The chance to investigate such an intriguing case has payment enough. Preemptive declarations of criminal intent are hardly in vogue. So he's just a classy man, huh? Sorry I'm late. Busy solving a murder. Yeah, I was there for it. Bri <laughs> Hold on. Briardian Consulting Inspector. At your service, my lady. Briardian? Briar? I'm just gonna call him Briar. There's a lot of competition going on, huh? Conniving inspector. Consulting inspector. <laughs> Rotting's flesh and saltpeter. Saltpeter. Hildebrand Mandeville and Nashu Makaraka. I presume. Two rank amateurs playing at a profession of which they know not. Call me when you're finished with these wastrels. Hmm. You see, I do not want or need your help. Briar is more than capable of overseeing the transfer. Now get out, all of you. Where have you been, Maria? Where's my vase? Oh god, it's gonna be FF6 Maria all over again. <laughs> there was this strange flying thing, and I... The vase, I dropped it in the water. I was so... The vase once belonged to the Royal House of Thorn. Do you have any idea how much it was worth? You will go back outside right now and search for the vase, and you are not to return until you find it. Do I make myself clear? My lady, pray allow me to go in for this girl's stead. It's not safe, for she herself spoke of a ferocious wild beast. <laughs> With my unmatched investigative skills, I shall swiftly locate and recover the missing vase, thereby earning your respect. <sighs> I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> uh, it's It feels disappointing, but I enjoy that. <laughs> Miss Maria, would you be so kind as to tell me exactly what happened? It's a bit creepy, but... I picked up the vase in Ulda, like Mother said, and I was on my way home. I was crossing the bridge, and then the flying thing came. I got scared, so I ran. When I stopped, it was gone. But so was the vase. I think I dropped it in... Nof Nofika's well. It's have I been there? I think I've been here. I, I think I've been there. I want to go look, but there was scary things looking, scary looking things down there. I'm scared to go alone.
You are no longer alone, Miss Maria. We shall together look for the vase, all five of us. Yep. Uh, why not? All right. And yes, you too. All four of you. I'm going after Inspector Bri Briar. If the duelist strikes, I mean to be there. But Miss Ellie, how can you ignore s the plight of a young girl for the sake of a story? That's because it's my job, you imbecile. Well, we shall not be derelict <laughs> to the duty of justice. Come, Nashu. You don't even know what the bloody vase <laughs> looks like. <laughs> oh, now you're going to help him? Maria, do you listen? If it gets dangerous or if you feel afraid, you run to this adventurer for help, understand? Uh, yeah. Ah, nothing like a day with Hildebrand, uh, let me tell you. <laughs> I could have put the first story up. I want to see what the next one goes. Uh, what am I doing? Huh. What's he got to say? Eager to start it. Get started, huh? Oh, is it's literally just outside the thing? Are you? I feel stupid. I I like I like no nowhere. I don't know that any of the places names are. I just double check the map every two seconds, like quadruple checking basically. But oh. It's, it's 4 a.m. in Europe. Mm. Hmm. Oh, great. Great. That girl, what? Wait, that girl, what? R run by earlier? Aye, I seen her. Had something in her hand, but dropped it while crossing the bridge. Didn't get a good look, but I reckon it doesn't matter any road. Whatever it is, it's long gone by now. Oh, great, I gotta go down. Alright. <sighs> oh, I'm tired as all hell. Uh, where is the... There it is. <sighs> A vase? Well, anything that falls in the water li is like to be swept downstream. here now a flamboyant oh a pox upon the thieving demon bird he shall rue the day he crossed paths with a vase i know not of you of what you god curses infernal refuse under underfoot every point is a dagger there's some oh wait what oh 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 Thank you. Ah. Oh, beat you guys to it. Do I spy a treasured vase of Lady Durilda over... Oh, oh dear. It's, uh, right there. Um, does this child... Does this belong to you, child? Forgive me. 
I was so engrossed in my search that I did not notice. You search for what, pray tell? The demon bird that absconded with my weapon. I set it down for a bit, but a moment. I set it down for but a moment, only to see it next in the talons of that accursed creature. I gave chase following it to the waters, and in my haste I must have stepped on your vase. Don't fret, Marla. Maria? Why do I keep thinking Marla? It's because the thing's so far away. I know it looks bad, but I'm sure Inspector Hildebrand will think of something. <laughs> Why are you posing <laughs> by the time we're looking? Oh, but I already have my faithful assistant. Hearken to me now, for as the rising sun doth dispel the dark, so shall my solution resolve our dilemma. Bop. But first we must gather as many fragments of the vase as we can find. All right, sticky glue, I got you. I had to think for that, but I found it to be useless, so. Oh, so if you're, like, literally in the middle of it. Yeah, that's... I found... I find that a little weird, but okay. That's cool. Uh... Hello? Alright. Well, um... Nice to meet you. Come present. Mm. Ah, well done. This should be more than sufficient for our needs. Oh, we're not done here. Freaking go again. <laughs> is that is that his dance? Is that a dance? What dance are we doing here? I don't know why. He looked like he was doing like one of those uh, workout things. There is but one person in Aorzia capable of reconstructing this face. A man whose skill with a hammer has brought rival goldsmiths low. So breathtaking are his works. So fearsome is his competitive spirit. This man is no mere goldsmith. You speak of him as if he was a great warrior. Once a notorious gang of thieves per perpetrated a series of robberies in Ulda targeting the establishments which sold luxury goods. One such shop was owned by the humble lapidary of whom I speak. His was the last shop the thief struck, for the following morning they were found beaten, bound, and gagged in the court, gold court. The brass blades never learned who was responsible. The only information they had was the testimony of a thief, who kept muttering the words, The hammer, the hammer, Thor? I don't, I don't get it. I'm going to fall asleep in this stream, honestly. He sounds dangerous. Aye, that he does. I do enjoy a company of dangerous men. Oh, so you're... You're looking awfully familiar now that I see you standing up. And I just read your name. Where are my manners? I've not properly introduced myself. I am Gilgamesh, and that is my companion, Enkidu. Well, this just got even better. Not really. Well, not really. It has been many moons since I last saw her, so... To ease the burden of loneliness, I tamed a rooster and painted it green. Why? Why would you paint it green? That just looks wrong, honestly. In any case, you mean to search for this goldsmith, yes? So, it would be my pleasure to help. The pleasure is all mine, Gilligan. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, bid you welcome. It's that hard for you to remember. I'll just have you call me Gil. Excellent suggestion. Greg. Playful monikers are an effective means of building camaraderie. 
Call me Hildy. That's what I do. <laughs> I just give nicknames and short names for everyone. Now then, for what I know of the goldsmith's prop propensity to procure this, his materials himself, I have deducted that he is most likely to be found in the vicinity of Blue Frog in northern Thanaline. It is there we shall begin our search. Here we are. Uh, a carcass. Doubling spoons indicate that it was felled by a hammer. A trail of bloody footprints lead north. Well. Really? Really, really, really. Leave me alone. Jesus. Basilisk, the, they never learn to leave people alone, do they? What's the check? <laughs> Is it just going to do that every time I come near it? Another one. Single blood to the head, impressive. And I'm guessing we'll find it all the way over there. Uh huh. Is that a. Is that a. What? what? Oh, hell. Uh. Do I wanna. Yep. I'm in. Uh, oh.
that's another one. All right, here we go. <sighs> <sighs> the Dolbin, the Basilisk, this Ariman, all slain with a hammer, as was that beast over yonder, unless I am mistaken. Uh, what beast? How big is this hammer? That chimera must be the latest prize. Jesus. He broke that. What did he do? Like, smash his skull in? What? Hold on. What, did he, like, jab the hammer through his throat or something? Mayhap he is watching us at this very moment, attempting to ascertain our intentions. Oh. And alas, it has come to this. Though every fire of my fiber of my being cries... Out of rebellion, I must break my oath and do the unspeakable. What must you do that be so terrible? I must... Ah, huh. is that... Okay. I am the Mander, Mander, Manderville man, doing what only a Manderville can, from the peaks of the Korth to the Thanaline, Mander, Mander, Manderville man. I, I cannot avert my eyes. So what, you're like distracting him? <laughs> that... That is the dance of House Manderville. Passed down for father's son. Were I to perform the within sight of the quarry, he would not be able to resist the revealing himself. Alas, I neglected to properly stretch my legs beforehand. My good man, I see no other solution. I must teach you the dance. Though it must be a gross, nay, unconscious... <laughs> Fine. I've learned the Manderville dance. All right, let's do the Manderville dance. Um, so we find this guy here, three dead bodies and a Nega man for the starting. Okay, let me wait here. Now let me think, what's all the good things and bad things that could happen? It could be funny as shit. It could be mentally scarring. Or I could very well never play this game again. We are siblings now, my, con my constant comrade. For I have shared you the secrets of House Manderville. Now you must n use that knowledge. Go to the following Chimera and dance. Okay. 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 Waiting. Not doing any fates. He's still alive. Oh my god. He wasn't kidding that. He literally jabbed the hammer in there. Alright, here we go. What's going on? Do the dance. All right, I'll do the dance. I, f I feel stupid. My, my giant ass self in a cloud of armor dancing like an idiot. <laughs> Fancy yourself a Manderville, man. You would do what only a Manderville can. Then lift your legs and put up your hands. Be a Mander Manderville, man. He comes. Chief. Zus? Alright, I'm, I'm fighting, I guess. Here we go. Ho, ho, ho. You have naught to fear from me. Not at all. The only accounts I came to settle with here with a chimera. With a chimera. Uh, you look scared. Why are you naked? Hold on a sec. But you were not drawn here by some coincidence, were you? No, you came in search of me. Godbert, why else would you gyrate your hips in such a gentlemanly fashion? 
if not that. But more importantly, how in the hell did you learn the Mandrapil? If I did not teach you, then who? <laughs> oh my god. This feels like... I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Book it. Run away. By the grace of Thal, what sorcery is this? He... He yet lives? Okay, so they know each other. And he's... That... <laughs> Nashu... <laughs> Look at him running! <laughs> what? <laughs> and slow... Are they going slow? They're slow. That looks intimidating as all hell. What is going on? He said, I'm coming for that ass. <laughs> and... This is some tomfoolery shit right now. <laughs> he's not going nearly as fast as him, I can tell. Yo, he's like dashing like DBZ. Hildebrand, Hildur, Maximilian, Mander. <laughs> uh, is that his like full name? Oh, mm, just surplus his ass into the ground. <laughs> he's like. What is this? <laughs> What is? <laughs> what? Ten years, Hildebrand. Ten years since you left home. And five since I learned of your trip to die. Is that like his family, his dad, his dad, his grandpa or some shit? How long were you planning to allow your mother and father to suffer under the illusion that their beloved son was dead? Son? You're Hildy's father? Shit. And he's dead. I thought it was cool until I saw this. And you guys can barely see since my, my beautiful portrait here is in the way. And he looks like he's just like the undead version of him that we saw the first time. Please, father, cease your undu their undulations at once. There are more pressing matters at hand. Ah, oh, jeez. What is going on here? Oh, right, the, the vase. This antique vase must be made whole and once more for the sake of Miss Maria here. Right, I keep forgetting that's why we're here. Hmm. No. <laughs> Just says no. Like, fuck you and the child. He's way taller than him, too. Is he, like, really old, or is that just his white fa fa facial features? <laughs> Do not worry, little one. I deal with the worst cases before my morning bowel, bowel movement. Alright, let's see how this goes. We're just gonna do it on the fly like this. Oh, that was quick. I'll I'll be I'll be that good someday. I'm I'm a blacksmith at heart. I'll be that good someday. Hold your applause until the end. Oh, it's not over yet. Byrgot, guide my hand. Who? Brygot? Byrgot? What? Oh, he just updated the quality. That's all. I was like, is he gonna do something crazy? All right. I f I keep forgetting. All right. Look at it sparkles in the twilight. It's radiant elegance. Would you all agree that's not a work of art? You completely destroyed a priceless antique's historical value. <laughs> I forgot it was. That's how it was supposed to be. Nonsense. I've taken a dull, unremarkable vase and transformed it into something far superior. Hope you were paying attention, Hildy. How long has it been since you last held a hammer? Years. Father, I. that's not my path. I'm an agent of inquiry, an inspector. It's my duty to help those in need. Miss Maria is one such person. There are others too, innocent people whose weapons were callously ripped by the hands of, by a thieving duelist. Jesus, I thought you had put away that childish dream. No matter, you will understand in due time. No, I will not. I'm inspector, father. Not else. Um, Mr. Godbert, sir? I don't think my mother's going to like what you did. She probably won't let Mr. Hildebrand to help with the investigation. We cannot say that for certain, can we? Mayhap she will still take a liking to this 
reimagining. <laughs> What's that? What's that chat face? <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh my god. You spoke of a thieving duelist, did you not? If that so happens, I'm something of a duelist myself. Were we to cross paths with this fellow, I would welcome the opportunity to pit my skills against this and do it as well, I should think. <laughs> Alright, the chicken's cool with it. I see you two possess a strong sense of justice. Full glad I am to met you, Greg. <laughs> Let us return to Vesper Bay and see how the base is received. Vesper Bay, you say? What a coincidence. I shall be traveling there on business once I have finished gathering materials. Oh. I think I might have seen that demon bird which took my weapon. Go on without me. I shall look. I shall follow anon. Ugh, deal. Let's just go. You know, you think FF FF14 would be a lot more serious, but then you then you reach this quest and realize how stupid it get how stupid it gets. Here we are. I hope she likes it. Only instinct and fate will tell. Are we looking? Mother, I brought you the vase. By the gods, have you all no shame? How dare you make my daughter con complicit in your chicanery? I don't know where you found this gaudy trash, but it bears no resemblance whatsoever to the vase I purchased. That is the same vase. Now see here, Lady Duilda. Not only did you send Maria to fetch your priceless vase alone, placing her in considerable damage should bandits or beast attack her, which they did, but... Gaudy trash? Lord Mandeville, sir. I did not realize you had arrived. Oh, uh, nice shorts, I guess. Though I know that's nothing compared to the lavish accommodations and esteemed gentlemen such as yourself may enjoy, I pray my humble abode meets your with your satisfaction. Um, I'm still not getting over the shorts. Is he even wearing pants? Or are they just are they just tights or underwear? Oh, it does, my lady. It does indeed, especially the exquisite vase over yonder. Hold on, let me give a deeper voice. <clears throat> Although I gather your previous comments that you do not like the reconstruction. Your reconstruct your reconstruction? Oh ho, ho. I don't like it. I love it! I would go as far as to call it my new centerpiece of the Thorn Dynasty collection. Ha, huh, what a relief. I would have been distressed had you seen otherwise, said otherwise. We Mandevilles do take so much pride in our work and ever strive for professional perfection. Oh, but why am I repeating my what my son Hildebrand doubtless told you when he offered to investigate the duelist threats. Enough expository banter, I should say. I cannot recall if your son used if your son used those precise words, but I do remember thinking that this will help would be this help would be welcome. You will be helping us, Inspector Hildebrand, will you not? Wait a minute. Your father is Lord Godbert Mandeville, the man who took all all the end Quiverson's seep on the syndicate? It appears I have a great many developments over the past 10 years of which I was completely unaware. In any case, 
We must redirect our energies toward the investigation of the thieving duelist. Our first order of business will be to review all the facts with cons with consenting Inspector Briar. Oh, right, Briar. Where is he? There he is. Hey. Hey. Another cutscene. <laughs> Why are you still here? Uh, you should be asking them that, not me. Allow me to elucidate. Lady Duilda has asked that we assist with the investigation. Now, kindly share with you all the information you have. I need to stop posing. Fine. Our plans are to advance to a stage that even you couldn't ruin them anyway. I commissioned several reproductions of the Treaty Blade through a merchant named Jojo Jojonpa, who traffics the counterfeit antiques. These blades have been delivered by the Observatorium, where they are being distribu distributed amongst Lady Duelda's sellswords. Once I give the order, they will transport the, them via alternate routes to Vesper Bay. Oh, I think I get it. You're hiding the real transport in a bunch of decoys, right? They're all decoys. The moment Thief strikes, all our forces will converge on his location including those disguised as small folk along each route. The real treaty blade will remain the original owner's vault until the thief has been apprehended. Can you guys imagine what if <laughs> if the guy he was talking to or the uh, or the people he was talking to were all on in on that shit? Everything's been accounted for. You are superfluous. <clears throat> I beg to differ. <clears throat> Look at my stuff. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mayhap we could use more small folk to wash the roads in and out of observatorium, assuming you have the capacity to conduct yourself in an unassuming fashion. Fear not, my fellow inspector, for I am a master in disguise. Have you any information regarding the duelist himself? A description? You never thought to ask Humphrey, did you? The thief said is said to be a towering brute dressed in a red who wields a halberd. Alright, a man so garishly dressed should be easy to find in Snowy Corpus. Then I suppose we don't need your help. After all, do we? Come or don't. I couldn't care less. Be seeing you. Break, forgive my lateness. Oh, there he is. Greg, my good man, what a pleasure to see you again. We just received new information regarding the weapon thief. A victim describing himself as a halberd wielding brute dressed in. <laughs> a ridiculous outfit. A ridiculous outfit? Ho oh, oh. ho, now I'm in intrigued. What reasons would a warrior have for wearing such impractical clothing? <laughs> what reasons indeed? It is enough to make a gentleman laugh. going on break for a bit of a minute or two. See you guys in a minute.
Uh, all right, back. should be hold on a sec I think that's uh, good enough yeah all right that's good enough it's definitely good enough <coughs> excuse me <sighs> Do I want to... Oh shoot, five elixirs? Alright, I'm in. <laughs> more Hildebrand, more Hildebrand. Alright. Alright, to summarize the current event... Uh, plan of action. Our destination is the Observatorium, and our mission is to pose as god as goodly small folk, according to Briar's instructions. Naturally, should the situation demand improvisation, we are to disregard those instructions. Any questions? I think not. We're going in. Alright. And the Observatorium is where now? No. 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 No, no, no. Ah, damn it. All right. <laughs> Losing all the money once again. <laughs> The Hildebrand story quest is so great, and it doesn't even have a freaking voice actor for all the characters. Such a crime, that is. So where is the, uh, is it on the second floor? Is it, is it? Oh, no, I, it was just the other way around. All right. All right. Let's find some answers real quick. Ugh. Hail to thee, fellow servant of justice. I take it that you are one of the many tasked with transporting a counterfeit treaty blade. Clearly, you've mistaken me for someone else, sir. At ease, Sergeant. They're with us, more small folk. Keep an eye on them, or else. But, but, sir, I... Bugger me. Don't you bloody move until I get back. I say, is this land always so inhospitable? 
the biting winds, the endless snows. Mayhap keeping active will help me stay warm. Oh, and you should, and should I chance to find the thieving duelist, I will of course summon you after administering the requested eating. I thought the carriage was gone for a sec. Good, you're still... Hmm? Was, wasn't there someone with you a moment ago? Uh, ah, you speak of Greg. He ventured... Why would you say it like that? He ventured outside the gates mere moments before your arrival, full eager to catch a thief. As are we. Come, Nashu, we too must hurry. Looks like you might actually be useful. Why don't you have a word with that ma with my man near the gate? One man over here. You're welcome. Oi! Oi! <sighs> you see that just now? No? Hmm. I don't think my eyes were playing tricks on me, but there was only one way to be sure. You wait here. Uh, alright. I'll just stand here being a badass. And a guardian. Inspector, over there, look. What is it, Nashu? Pray tell me what you see. Ah, I see you, demon bird. You shall not escape me this time. Why, hello there, my friends. Is aught a miss? Oh, it's just Greg. For a moment, I thought you, we, we might have spotted our thief. Come, Nasha, we have lingered over here long enough. We must go, post haste. <sighs> it's that hard for them to notice, huh? John needs a rest. Nothing here either. <gasps> uh, why is the chicken running? <laughs> I can only conclude that having learning of our that our opponent was to be a legendary specter Hildebrand, the duelist renounced the criminal ways and retreated into hiding. And he's still running after it. Perhaps he's waiting patiently outside the walls for more wagons to leave. That being said, you should decide to adventure into the wilderness. Or should you decide, you had best arm yourself with your, with something more than your wits. I appreciate your concern, Miss Ellie, but a gentleman should abstain from violence He's unless absolutely unnecessary. Necessary? Why do I say unnecessarily? I'll fight for you, Inspector. I haven't found a weapon to use. By the twelve, is that a self? <laughs> is that the self same spear that which repelled me to read the moon? Where did you find it? It was buried in the snow. This has Gilgamesh written all over it. My god. I still endeavor... And there's a chicken again going into the thing. I will duly armed worst come to worst. Are they just going to duke it out in there? Oh my god. In fact, how's it even going? Hold on. And they're they're not even in here. Alright. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> These idiots are gonna be the death of me. Even though I'm just as bad as they are. Is she waving? Hold on. Uh, hopefully he won't mind. I'm waiting around. Waiting around. What do we got going on for us today? <sighs> Wherefore art thou, my nefarious nemesis? T'was not the selfsame creature, but one of the many. Nevertheless, I know that my weapon is close by. My, you sense it too, don't you? It's right there.
I'm just, <laughs> I'm rolling with it. <laughs> Again, I'm still standing like weaklings. <laughs> uh. How long has it been? Like hours? If not days? <laughs> Greg, I've been meaning to ask, what? Why do you covet? Why do you covet this weapon so? If you but beheld it, you would un you would understand. In some ways, it bore resemblance to a spear, but in other respects, it was quite different. A halberd. It was crowned the magnificent axe blade, uh, to which has a wielded a musket barrel, so a gun blade, but but, but a spear. was one of the first weapons I added to my collection after arriving in these lands. Ah, uh, how I yearn to reclaim it. The strongest of spears. Dude. Dude. That weapon of yours bears a striking... A striking resemblance to... Yep. The strongest of spears! I, I claimed this weapon five years ago. Uh, now you call me... Uh, give it to me. Give it! Oh, what? What? This spear is... Uh, I traveled together... You haven't even had it for that long. Nashu literally just found it like 10 minutes ago. Why got the... Why got that uh, stance going on for him? Like he's from Samurai Showdown. Then we are at an impasse. It's a game of tug of war. <laughs> Classic Japanese. <laughs> How many times is this going to happen? <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but well done, expect. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks to you, we've caught the weapon thief in act. Miss Elise, you are grossly misleading our <laughs> misreading our dispute. Greg is a good, honest man. I am certain he has never stolen the weapon. You're holding it. Indeed, I've not. I have not. Every weapon I have claimed by right, by rights, was mine. Each was a trophy for besting my opponent in single combat. That's not. Th Wait for it, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> That's not how it works. I believe that constitutes a confession. Seize him. Like, let's get this kid. <laughs> a confession of what? I've done not wrong. Bah, you're all beyond reason. Uh, can you, uh, can you say that in a mirror? <sighs> Here we are. Ah, yes, my plan was to secure Greg's confession to utterly flawless. His capture was to be a coup de grace. Just run with it. Doesn't matter. Let's just go get him. Where's he even going? Well, my plan is thus far flawless. Griffin Crossing is still impassable. Alright. I know who you are, even if that imbecile doesn't. So let's not mince words. Only you have the skill to face the duelist in battle. Even so, your strength alone will not likely not suffice. I suggest you muster what allies you can. I'll be lucky if I... Uh, if I somehow do this right. <sighs> Wait, should I...? Nah, I'm not gonna talk. <laughs> Come on, man.
Here we are. Hold on, I gotta like, I gotta do this like right beside him or some sh <laughs> Come on. Can I get rid of the HUD layout somehow? Yeah, is there a way for me to like get rid of it so I can? I have enough friends. I want to like make a friggin' uh. What's it called? Try this one more time because I've seen that you can do it somehow. Oh, that's for uh. So I literally need like a freaking, oh, that's going to suck. All right. Well, now I guess we're rolling with this. <sighs> Nashu, Miseli. Ah, my good man. It's a relief to hear your foot trails. As you have doubtless, to I haven't even been... I've been sitting next to you for an hour. <laughs> Not an hour, like two minutes. I was unable to prevent Gabe, Greg from escaping through the doors. Wait, bridge, bridge, oh man, here we go. Ah. Yes, it was I behind these doors the whole time. You took so long to arrive. I was getting worried you might have gotten lost. Long did I wonder what your role was to play in this. A silent guardian, content with, to watch over events unfold with minimal interaction. At the last, I understand. You were fated to duel, you and I. Best me, and you have the spear. Fail, and all your weapons are forfeit. Fair terms, do you think not? I will even extend them to your allies. I, I grant them a leave. I, I grant you leave to summon them. For Gilgamesh, it is my beginning time. What the? <laughs> okay. A fair fighter, I guess. Oh, man. Well. <laughs> Alright, let's... <laughs> Get out of my way. I'll be lucky if I get this on... Like, on the first try, too. I don't know what's to happen here. But it's probably going to take me a while, so let's just... I guess we'll go straight back to uh, the original story for a good minute. Until uh, the, the party forms. Huh. 
I end up getting sent straight back after like trying to go through these doors and paying for more and paying again to get back inside. I'm not gonna like this. Look at that, it's 5 a.m. over in Europe. I wonder if some early birds play this game. Probably not. Friends, the very isle itself, everyone and everything. No. No, it avails us not to speculate. Uringer will send word that if there are any developments. Till such time, he does. We must remain firmly focused on what it is, which it is within our power to change. With that in mind, I would speak of a different matter when close to home. Alright. It concerns the etheric flux. God damn it. Alright. That the king is no more a blessing of which we have th you think to thank. Yet all is not well in the Twelve's Wood. Our latest readings reveal an ongoing ether disturbance in considerable magnitude. <clears throat> Great, another primal. Asilia, I do not wish to interrupt, but we have a problem. What a manner of problem? Band of refugees hailing from Ulda. This time, are to come from Reverend Toll seeking asylum. Asylum. It would seem they expect us to afford them the same treatment we gave the Domans. At present, they are the sev they are in the seventh heaven, awaiting a formal response. I see. Mayhap this was to be expected. I shall meet with them at once. Asilia, you know full well we haven't the resources to accommodate many more. Consider what will happen if we do this. Word will spread, and more will follow. Your opinion is duly noted, but I will hear their suit. Core, I should be grateful for your presence at this meeting. Yes, yes. Dragon tailed refugee. All right, here we go. I apologize for keeping you waiting. My name is Mithilia. I lead the science of the seventh dawn. Twelve be praised. It is you. We're ready and willing to work. Same as the domains. Just give us a task and we'll see it done. Pray calm yourselves. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I know not of your situation. Beg pardon, antecedent. I... I ain't so good with words. We've been living off the scraps of Ulda for years now, trying to piece together life to replace with the ones we got that got took. They say there's work, but there's a nod for an honest man, not as wooden sully his soul sooner than his palms, any road. The flames do what they can for us, of course, but it ain't near enough. Until it began worse when the calamity brought us to our knees. Those rich bastards in the city didn't help us. They climbed they climbed, climbed our backs or turned their backs. I don't pretend to be clever, but even I can see what's coming. 
I knew we had to run. The only question was to where, and it came to Reverend the Toll. I mean, you took the foreigners, didn't you? So surely you'd do the same for us. It's not that simple, buddy. I fear the situation is rather more complicated. While it is true that we accepted the Dolman's petition for aid, the decision was the product of extraordinary circumstances. I sympathize deeply with your plight, but pray understand that it is not possible for our organization of our means to aid all that have been affected by the calamity. So it's with great regret that I must deny your request. But we've nowhere else to go. You're turning your back on us? If I might add a word. Uh, Tataru. Ill tidings from Ulda, my lady. Alpha Note has, has been wound. Oh, no. How? Is it serious? I cannot say for certain, but I fear it might be, according to the flames, the refugee started. Oh, no. Well, uh, it's not going to be good. I can't be right. Why would they? They must have been provoked. The demonstration was meant to be peaceful. Seven hells. Now the blades have an excuse. They'll round us up and kill anyone who tries to resist. And descendant, please, if you won't help us build a new life, at least help us keep the ones we've got. Well, I guess this is where I come in, huh? We are not ones to stand idly by and watch the innocents suffer. Until we know more of the circumstances surrounding this ride, I'm not certain if what aid, if any, we can provide. If the authorities determine that the refugees attacked without provocation, then those responsible will have to answer for their actions. How can you be so blind? Uh, that's two opposing viewpoints for you. Find Alpha Note and quickly. If he's in danger or worse, I would have you and none other private and help him. Yawa glass. I don't need to do all that. It's home. <laughs> Got dark work, huh? Maybe I should try out the new Blue Mage job soon. So, how you doing, big guy? must have gathered by now that Tataru is given to exaggeration. As you can see, I am quite well. Are we sure? Um, am I sure that you're not lying? Ulda, on the other hand, is not. This riot was anything but an isolated incident. There is a restlessness in the air. Tensions long simmering are at last threatening to boil over. Ulda is a nation infamous for the great disparity between the wealthy and the poor. The majority of the populace accept this state of affairs because they believe that every man bears responsibility for his own lot in life. To an Uldan, Money is the foremost, and some would say the only measure of a man's worth. Small wonder that the wealthiest wield the greatest influence. So where do the refugees fit into this social hierarchy? 
What place is there for those who fled Alamigo and the destruction of the Calamity? Plainly, there is none. They have no wealth, no power, and no worth. To the Uldan way of thinking, they may as well not exist. Choosing to ignore their existence, however, is patently not an option. General Rauban and the Sultana understand this, which is why they ordered the Immortal Flames to provide the refugees aid and succor. Yet, none would dispute that the expenses incurred by this policy grow by the day, with no end in sight. This has prompted more and more Uldans to question their obligation to aid these worthless wanderers. While more and more refugees have come to resent their treatment at the hands of the sneering citizenry. The manner of Lord Lolorito's refusal to grant the Dolmen's asylum bespoke a disdain for all refugees, an attitude shared by the rest of the monetarists. And you may be sure they make no effort to conceal their opinions. It was only a matter of time before the refugees united in protest. Nor is it any surprise that some among them would ultimately resort to violence. <sighs> that the immortal flames should choose this of all occasions to engage in joint training exercises with the other grand companies. By the time they return, the situation may well have deteriorated beyond mending. been in a riot before i know i haven't just a just a couple of fights over my life ones that i mostly failed at uh, that's because i was in inexperienced though as i told you before it was all but inevitable that the incident of this kind would eventually occur given to the rising tensions within the sultanate nevertheless i have the reason to believe that this particular riot may not have been begun spontaneously have I piqued your curiosity? Good. You will accompany me to the Hall of Flames. I would hear that what General Robin has to say upon this matter. Now is not a good time, Corporal Layton. My hands are full dealing with the refugees. Precisely the matter we wish to discuss, General. Alphano is back on your feet already. You may credit my swift recovery to your chirurgians. Chirurgians. My memories of the riot are still somewhat muddled. I trust you managed to regain control of the situation? Not entirely. We secured the city soon but not before the unrest had spread through the surrounding territories. Well, look at that. We have sent what forces we can to spare the roots at the last of the belligerents. Progress is slow. I can imagine well. Given that the majority of refugees live outside the walls, it stands to reason that they would know the lay of their land. What I do not understand is how they came to be so well prepared. Before my little accident, I observed that several of the refugees were armed, not with a butcher's knife or pitchforks, but with martial weapons. 
None can deny the tensions between the Uldan citizenry and the refugee population have increased since the Dolmans turned were turned away. But would that motivate a starving man to purchase arms in a lieu in the lieu of food? I think not. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh. What of those who have not even a single guild to spend? Who could not survive without the aid of providing by the immortal flames? Surely that they would sooner sell a weapon uh, than bring a bear against a benefactress. Come to the point. Someone's behind giving everyone some shit so they can cause more shit and so they can and so that shit can destroy the whole city. My point is, General, is that the powder keg of discontent and not set alight by chance. The events were deliberately set in motion, and and now order must be restored. That is my first duty. Until it's done, any investigation can wait. I don't have time to discuss this. My scouts will be returning anon. It's not going to help out a lot, though. Hmm. <sighs> General ain't no fool. Were he to claim, without the necessary proof, of, that these riots were investigated by outside forces, the monetarists would accuse him of attempting to shirk responsibilities. After all, he and Miss Sultana have been outspoken proponents of refugee aid. Regardless, they will face harsh criticism in the days ahead. <sighs> Our allies may stumble upon the truth in time. I have more than enough faith of your capability score. Hold on a sec. Therefore, I propose we conduct our own investigation, independent of the authorities. Can we do that? Of course we can. We've done it before all the time. We saved the world. We can break the law whenever we want. <laughs> Sorry, checking something. I would have you make inquiry, inquiries with the settlement suspected of harboring belligerents. Commander Swift uh, will know which they are. He may balk at the request of such information, but I have no doubt that you can persuade him with your silver tongue. Silver, silver tongue. I, meanwhile, shall seek my own answers in my own way. Uh, yeah, how did I... Is that hold on? I just like either I did something weird or I don't know. Oh, shoot, behind me. <laughs>
two tanks still in this party for the big bridge. Oh, oh. Is that a... Yeah, sandstorm. <laughs> going the wrong way. There, fellas. Thanks for talking. Those ones. All right. Yeah. Ah, hello. Don't hurt me. No, I'm not. <laughs> Wait, I know your face. Are you not the man of, from the saint? Yes, I'm that guy. Got some pardons. Talk to me. I've agreed to help. Great. The others have fallen under the fanatic spell. Alright. Alright, alright. Jeez. So, apparently we got some more tomfoolery here. Some random bullshit. <laughs> some bullshit. What are you doing? Don't, don't draw, don't draw, don't draw. Ah, you're just begging me to sit with you, ain't you? Just begging me to do it. Begging me to do it, huh? Oh. <laughs> it, it looked like it was about to T-pose for a sec. That's how you soothe people. Oh, what they will not give, you must take. <gasps> he revealed the cash of weapons he had bought from the empire the impured the implored us to seize all right when the flames found out we didn't know what to do our leader tried to parlay with the thieves but they started arguing then fighting and everyone was okay so it just got out of hand can I keep going for? Maybe a solid 30 more minutes? Maybe an hour? Well, I know. Uh, hell if I know. I'm still waiting on the Gilgamesh. <sighs> Man, what's so different about that? Alright. All right. All the refugees are hiding in the caves south of the Lost Hope, but to approach them would be fruitless. They would sooner call us agents and sultanate. A pox on all bloody cell swords. They were use They were supposed to train us to fight, but the ones he sent us vanished during the struggle. Yeah, never should have listened. You guys shouldn't have listened. Challenge the twins to combat and show my brethren they're the strongest warriors are no match for one man. Material. Material. Makes sense. Maybe I should get like a freaking. I can't anymore because they're they're not gonna let me. <laughs> gonna say grab like an energy drink but nowadays I don't think it's usually that safe to try that anymore. Excuse me. 
the boys, just making my way through here. Is there way up there? Is there like a, or am I going the, am I being stupid? Oh no. Yeah, I might be, I might be being stupid right now. Yep. Yep. So yeah, I'm just being stupid right now, apparently. So what the hell am I doing? Hold on. Let me think this real quick. I'm missing a place here. Yeah, no way. I can find a different way or is there literally no way up there? Is it even up there? Is it yeah, it's I'm I'm so what? I'm just being stupid right now and trying something else, or I don't know. How did I not know about this? Hey, let's fight. They found us. That's your game, huh? Sorry to disappoint you, lad. More than what you think we are. I just messed up my, uh... Tanked all that shit. <laughs> hmm. 
There, done. Never mind. Done now. You beat him all like it was nothing. Fall almighty, what are we gonna do now? Alright, so obviously, uh, this party thing isn't working out right now so let's just leave uh, yeah nobody's playing right now Return? Did you find my brethren? I see. Well, you had no choice. Better than a handful of them, or take a beating from you rather than getting butchered by the flames. Tell me, what did the merchant have to say when it was over? Hmm? But where else would he be, unless he went to Stone Throw to recruit others? As I recall, he wished to approach the refugee refugees there as well. I was waiting until the flames withdrew their forces from the vicinity. Now that they have, there's nothing f to stop them from continuing his work. How many more must perish to in pursuit of this futile cause? I was hoping I could jump over it. Have you seen my parents? Nice no, try. They told me to stay here with the others. They said they'd be back with some days. Left with that man in Ulda. They were gonna change everything. I didn't like it. I don't. I didn't like it when he talked about rich, making rich people pay. Lots of people left with the man. And no one's come back. So what? She's all alone. Leaving the kid like that all alone. Uh. 
<laughs> Melvin, you poop. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a gist. Persuaded the gang of refugees to lay down their arms. Flame General will be pleased to hear this. Stop the rabble arousing merchant from selling further sedition. to stop the merchant. Should have been through the merchant, the merchant strip. Weaver's Guild. I gotta remember. I gotta remember that. Oh, look like he's been through some shit. Oh man. First comes a man with a promise of deliverance, senior suffering firsthand, and will bear with no longer, he says he. Your friend, your ally, your comrade in arms, take his hand. God, you do it better tomorrow. Then comes a soldier with a promise of justice, following the man who came before at your peril, says he. For they who sow the wind shall reap the whirlwind. The man's no saint, any fool can see that. Were but tools of his task to be used as discarded. As for that soldier, he thinks only of his mission. He's to be honest as a man, but even but every bit as ruthless. With whom shall I cast my lot? Neither, says I. Now the soldier is thinking how else he, how else he might get what he wants. Start a diplomatic approach and failed. Mayhap a firmer hand is needed. Mayhap he needs to make an example out of all Megan scum. He's just like the fifles of the last lost hope. Oh man, alright. Neither will I lend you help. Alright. The gods seem the gods seem bent on granting your every bloody wish. There you are, Lambert. Have you given any thought to my proposal? So that's the merchant. 
You, I, I. That's my cue. There he goes, towards the gate of fall. Go and claim your prize for coin and country. Um, not really interested. Alright, I got enough coin as it is, so. Taking the red, oh my god. So that's the other uh, red mage class. All these classes seem like so much fun to do. Like, I just want to do them. <laughs> Mostly the attack classes, I'm not really much of a healer. doing here what's going on here huh what's going on here huh you again why are you pursuing me do I got answers I mean questions <laughs> sedition treason revolution that's preposterous who has filled your head with these lies refugees the self same refugees who terrorized the streets of Ulda no evidence to prove your accusations none No, I will not accompany you to the Hall of Flames. You have no right to detain me. He's a, I'm a corporal. Bitch, you want to start that? For the sake of argument, let us say I did do something of your claim. Surely you don't think I give a quick key kerns uh, arse about the politics. This business. Only business. What's the matter? I got nowhere to run? Or... Well... <laughs> Looks like he's giving up, but... Oh, uh, okay. We both know I'm not the one you want here. However, if you gr agree to protect me, I swear I shall tell you everything. Go on. You know what's weird? Either my reflexes were too damn slow, or I was just too stupid to not use my shield to protect him. What's all this commotion? And I'm branded a killer. I'm branded a killer. Seven elves. Tell the others to spread out and search the area. Killer may be still close by. Oh, I'm good. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm in the clear. You know, imagine if I, d if I was the bar job and I did this seen as a, and they'd be like, it's him. Hold adventurer, I would like to know more about your relationship with the victim, as well as the events leading up to his death. We talked, info, shit like that. This man was responsible for the recent riots? Mayhap we owe this murderer regret. Um, mm -mm. In any case, it is obvious that you are not the one of whom we speak. You may carry on with the investigation.
news, Corporal? Where's the merchant? Dead. <laughs> murdered? Damn it all to the seventh elves. He was not simply murdered, Corporal. He was silenced. Too many knew his face. He was, already he was ready to divulge his secrets. No despair. Closing. to sell some stuff. D oh, damn it, I missed him. Five thousand. All right, cool. Are we going back to the? I think we are. Of course, I could be the red mage, but yeah, yeah, not right now. To the probably later on. All right. So a quick message from General Robin. All right, the flame general left a word saying you were here to proceed to the fragrant chamber as soon as you returned. He wishes to discuss your recent discoveries as well as the result of your shit. Master Alphanode has already been informed to go there. Uh, where's the next? Uh, I can just check, check that out. Here, chamber of wool. Uh, let's hear him out. For that. The Swift yep. has kept us apprised of your recent activities. You've made great strides towards quelling the violence. Despite our best efforts to determine what provoked this uprising, the truth continues to elude us. Have you uncovered aught which might shed some light on the mystery? Decisions to reject the Dorman refugees appeal for asylum had lasting repercussions. A number of those displaced by the calamity claimed it was proof of a policy of discrimination. Together with a group of Alamegan refugees, they organized a series of demonstrations to protest against the Sultanate. Demonstrations which became heated, but did not descend into violence. Until a certain incident served as a call to arms. A unit of brass blades sent to supervise a demonstration loosed arrows upon unarmed protesters. It was this atrocity which prompted the refugees to take up arms. I need not tell you what followed. We assumed at first that the attack was born of a miscommunication. When emotions run high, they happen. But suspicions were raised regarding the unit's commanding officer, whom I ordered interrogated. Sure enough, 
Our fears were soon confirmed. The dog confessed that a merchant had offered him coin to give the order. A merchant in the employ of Teleji Adeleji. Teleji Adeleji? But he spoke in favor of the Doman's cause, and has ever seemed sympathetic towards the refugees' plight. Why would he do such a thing? Know you of the Cartano Reclamation Bill? It is a proposal to annex the Cartano Flats so that refugees may establish permanent settlements. When last I looked, that was disputed territory. Aye. Some might even call it a battlefield. The destruction wrought by Bahamut was greatest at the Cartano Flats. That much is common knowledge. What is less well known is that his rampage laid bare ancient Alagon ruins, of which no record existed. There are certain differences of opinion as to how these ruins should be handled, which is why each nation maintains a military presence in the region to this day. Yet differ though we may, we are still allies. Therefore, in the interest of preserving the Eorzean alliance, we have reached an agreement. Any conflict which may arise during the course of military exercises in the region shall have no bearing on relations between our nations. In full knowledge of this delicate state of affairs, Teleji Adeleji proposed the Cartano Reclamation Bill. A shameless bloody ruse which stands to benefit him in but one conceivable way. If successful, he will gain control over the disputed territory under the guise of assisting in the resettlement effort. And you can be sure he'll build an orphanage next to every Alagon ruin. The man would threaten the unity of the Eorzean Alliance and risk countless lives for personal gain. He walks a path all his own, independent of any faction and beholden to none of his fellows on the Syndicate. By inciting the less fortunate to violence, he hopes to convince others that the Cartano Reclamation Bill is the only viable solution. His sympathy for the plight of the Domans was not but posturing to gain credibility with the refugees. Of that there can be no doubt. Forgive me, but what could possibly motivate Teleji Adeleji to go to such lengths? What is so special about these ruins that he would risk his position on the Syndicate? And, most likely, charges of treason against the Sultanate? Omega. Uh. Pardon? An Alagon monstrosity, not unlike the Ultima weapon. Mayhap larger, we know not. It has yet to be fully excavated. Alagon inscriptions indicate that it was created to fell Bahamut himself. If accurate, might explain why Nail Van Dardis chose to bring the Red Moon down upon the Cartano Flats, given the ends he went to to ensure Eorzea's annihilation. Destroying the one weapon which could stay the Elder Primal may well have seemed like good sense. When first I bore witness to the power of the Ultima weapon, I doubted the evidence of my senses. And now you tell me there is another such weapon, one which could contend with Bahamut. We were skeptical ourselves. Truth be told, until the Ultima weapon's existence came to light, we thought the inscription had been mistranslated. At present, Omega is more akin to a fossil than a tool of war, having long since ceased to function. As such, its true potential cannot accurately be gauged. However, if someone were to restore it, as the Carleans did the Ultima weapon, 
I have little doubt that he would wield untold power. Power enough to subjugate Uldar like as not, and the rest of Eorzea besides, which is doubtless why Telenji Adelenji yearns to have it. That he should aspire to world domination. He who has ever walked two paces behind Lord Lolorito in matters of commerce. Tis an acknowledgement of his own limitations that he seeks this power. Woe betide us all should we allow him to have it. Pray waste no time chasing rats. Only a fool would believe that secrets can be kept in Ulda. It would seem the implications of the Sultanate's refugee problem are rather more far-reaching than we assumed. Uh, cutscene over. <sighs> <laughs> Nothing leaves our room. <laughs> I swear, I love other words. Uh, Goblin says, Nothing leaves this room. Instantly gets the whole city knows how, how it goes. Honestly, I'm starting to get like really sleepy, so I don't think I can keep this up for much longer. I might have to end the stream here. Hold on a sec. You look like. Oh, no, you don't. Well, oh, well, that's that's okay, I guess. It's the Japanese name for the uh, FF6 character. Here we just call it Terra. What? What else can I? What else can I do? Also, I think. All right, so I'm pretty sure if I try to go into another. Uh, Duty Finder, it's not gonna work since not a lot of people are on that shit. Um, so maybe I'll just get a new job, I guess. Maybe, I just might. You know what? Screw it. Why not? I just, I'm just doing whatever just because I feel like it. Okay, almost almost messed it up. Almost messed it up. All right, so you're an adventurer. Please, you have to rescue my sister. Got you. What will I say? Where are the parents, or where? Hmm. No, actually, yeah. Where are your parents? Hold on a second. I'm gonna pop a left early. Fine. I will be the hero. I need to like have the whole <laughs> the hero song uh, from Foo Fighters on this stream. Well-dressed lass. Yo. Don't touch me. Oh, you're not one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm an. I'm an adventurer, kid. All right, here we go. Get him. Mm. Mm. I'm 
обзора. knowledge or thaumatagery knowledge so what might you be uh, don't worry about it train me can you lend me your aid my apologies had I known I would have spared a villain or two I mean you could have spared all of them I am Shorn Tia. I'll just call you Tia. Pilgrim of sorts. I don't know your name, friend. Kor. Why does that sound familiar? Excuse me, I just want to thank you for saving me. Ugh. Cool. Leave. <laughs> My pleasure, child. You're unharmed, yes? Good. Let's escort this back to her sister, shall we? Is everything good? Looks again. You found her, thank you. Very grateful. Alright, go home. Scared, what What do those people want with you? You didn't know, you don't need to worry about that anymore, sis. That man in red defeated them all. He saw how he fought. With spells and steel, he's one of those heroes Papa told us about. A crimson duelist, aren't you? Huh. <laughs> I did not hear to expect that name from a far south into Eorzea. You would, so then you are one. If your papa is telling your daughter's tales of red mages, then he must be from Alamigo, yes? Well, that would explain his choice of bedtime stories. Shall we see to the both of you home? Bye. And away they skipped, safe and happy. Now, Cor, was it not? I believe we've earned ourselves a celebrity drink. <laughs> Don't need to be compelled. You should the mood strike you, however, you'll find me staying over at the Blackbrush Station. How do you get over there so fast? the station that's the freaking bar <laughs> there he is teach me some the mother of those girls tracked me down and insisted I accept a reward once I mentioned you, you might be stopping by she left a token of gratitude to you as well assisted me in affluent merchant family and a revelation which might explain the attempted kidnapping Hefty ransom and all that. I'm told the girls were immediately assigned a capable bodyguard. However, so we can drink in peace, knowing they're protected. I remembered why did I know you. Learned of your first from a young lass named Alice. Oh shoot! Whom I met upon the road. She expressed an admiration for your growing exploits. Even she persuaded me that teach her the basis of red magic. She proved to quit study for the arcane side of things. I think I'm not supposed to say this until she joins the story, but I don't even know when she does. And Alice says the sister of that of Alpha Naud, right? And what of you, friend? Have you an interest in my in the art? 
I'm deadly serious. A man who would rush to the aid of strangers, child, fear without fear or hesitation, is a man I would trust with the power of red magic. Sends a kindred spirit from you. Be warned, style's not good. I mean, well, it's practical one. Are you familiar with soul crystals? This particular stone is attuned to the past rulers of red magics. We're fully mined with the film foundation of technique. Technique? Give it to me. <laughs> Let me eat you now. Add a new one. How do I add a new one? Oh, up there. Why? Oh, God damn it. Move set up. Move set up. Move set up. Move set up. Because it likes to be a pain in the ass. Right, cool. Let's take this up for. Actually, I don't even know where to go for. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. After this, I'll probably be done soon.
think we're good here. All right, well, let's find out how this thing works. All right, so from the glint in your eyes, soul is surrendered from the secrets. Welcome. The art we practice is a born of noble origin. We speak of its age, sometime 1500 years in the past. Here the great floods rose. People fled from their homes into the mountains of Kiar Alba. Albania. All right, these wizard practitioners became targets of retribution uh, for the part they played in upsetting the natural balance. Okay, oh, that's right. Yeah, beef. Thus, we had principles of black and white magery reinvented and thus created red magic. I heard in the past. I heard in the past that rage, red mages in the past games were not as strong as others, but that's just. Like a different kind of balance, I think, to me. That's just me, though. Uh, Alright, I've proud along about far better. Let's see. Yeah, Alright, we get it. Let's just go in. Where are we going? Dun -dun. Oh, shit. Wait, why are we behind a church again? Why did I go the wrong way? I don't know. Oh uh, no, not behind. I'm stupid. He's inside the church. I thought there was like a behind back way to it. My god. All right. Uh, no. Yes. There you are. You introduced me to the father earlier. Oh, uh, we're already right then there and back again with each other. Tale of nefarious spellcasters and their attempt to kidnap two. Oh, gross. Oh, yeah, you, the, yeah, that. I forgot that's what we did. Uh, I am not the one who spoke in the entire language. No one shifted in the expression. Sigil pushing the arcane energy. The evil practice. Such cursed sigils are known to destroy the will of barrier, resulting in a puppet which acts in the manner you have described. Jeez. We must seek the frame. Alright, poor. Step by. Oh, shoot. Alright. Are we getting more of those? You've learned all the way. Alright. According to level 50, anyway. Uh, hey! Uh. About to go in. Alright. Just jumping right in. I don't know where we're going first. Notice we're being followed. Yeah. Since an ambush offering. Do they seek to silence us? Let them try. This will be the perfect opportunity to test your newly acquainted skills. Red Mage's spells belong in two distinct schools. Rooted as they are ancient disciples of black and white magic. Intervened, they formed a solid core of red magic. Through the balanced casting of both disciplines, can a red mage build the foundation higher and higher? Strength has reached the peak. That's when the lunge forward and unleash the energies. All right. So magic first, then striking abilities. I got it. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Uh. I wear a sword, as you can see, but I'm no partial to violence. So no chance we might accept a parlay in lieu for bloodletting. That's a no. Going up. Right. 
What? Wait, what? Okay, I think that was wrong. Alright. What am I doing? Hold on. Wait, what am I? Oh my god. Alright, focus. Hold on. Some are instant, some are take longer. All right. Oh, okay. All right, this is not working well. I don't even know a single thing of what I'm doing. All right, so I can't. Gonna die. Oh, shoot. Two seconds for this. I think I was supposed to do that. Damn it. Did I kill myself or some shit? I can't tell. Again, I barely know what I'm doing here. And next time I'll check the I'll check the commands before actually using them. I, I kinda a tone in tone a short spell. You will find that a lengthy incantation can now be used to cast in an instant. Shoot, shoot. Oh, come on. I don't see me again. So I assume when I hit one spell, it goes to another. Maybe I should start off with this, then another one.
out of this. This guy's healing me over and over. Yeah, so I... Yeah, so what's going on? Oh, shoot. Good night. already this thing Do I not have a rook here for him? Come on, don't screw this up, don't screw this up. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I gotta like set my shit up next time. I exceeded none of mine. You see that the brand of you on her left cheek? Cursed sigil. All right. Ambushers. Yeah, gotta take those guys down. Is there a cure here? Where? Ah, uh, I have to be at level 54. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, all right, I'm just weak as shit. That's the reason why I'm like this. What 
just gonna skip this scene? Maybe. You know the history of these graves? <sighs> Church's Lichyard is final resting place for many of the victims of the seventh Umbral Calamity. Red magic was conceived of stem such tides of destruction. In an age of abuse of sorcery flooded. Distinction from earlier disciples. Disciplines is key. Practitioners of black and white magic draw upon ambient ether and a red mage weaves his spells using only the reserves of mana which, with which he was born. In the era in which red mage magic was created to do otherwise was forbidden. To manifest much powerful effects, the first red mages adopted a, a method by the precise sword techniques would harness and amplify the energy of their spoken incantations. Mages on physical and serving as an arcane accelerator, a genius way of perceiving them out of self-imposed limitations. That's a lot to say. All right, I think I get the picture. Every generation of red mages is a part of an unending battle. Soldiers who are fighting to enduring the violence and subjugation to bulwark against the unkind vagaries of life. Vagaries, vagaries, whatever you call it. <sighs> Yay. Did it. 13, yeah. It's not going to mean much until I you know, at least get to Heaven Sword Story where I start getting a lot of more XP. So these are pretty weak. Jesus. I just wait, I thought I had more. I feel like a man's skirt. Uh, not a man's skirt. Like, like I feel like I'm wearing, wearing a man's skirt. All right. Uh, but enough of this, Mavi. It's time for you to end this. I tire of this charade. I went the whole way around. I could have done that faster. Uh, all right. That's it for me. So weird. 
just want to have more. Make sure that they give you a suit or something. There it is. Let me put all that on. Down just to pants. All right. Well, that's going to be it for me for now. Thanks a lot for watching for anyone who's watching right now. If you guys want to see more stuff or any more info I got, go to the info box, see all the things I do, like YouTube, a bit of Instagram, and a Discord that you can join other people in because I play more games than this one. Uh, uh, but anyway, that's it for me for now. So see you guys next time and have a good one. All right. This is DJ signing off. Peace out.